It is finally time. My water just broke and I'm having the worst contractions. They're about eight minutes apart. So I'm going to call the intended parents. Sorry, I look like crap, but I don't feel good. Hey. Hey, my water just broke and I'm having really bad contractions. Okay. It's time. Okay. Bye. It's time. Okay. All right, I'll we see will, you soon. Uh... You don't ever have to look too far You don't have to cover up your scars You're perfect darling just the way you are So before you think to rip yourself apart Open up my heart and you'll find love Love, love, love mm -hmm. Love you guys, I'm in labor <laughs> Finally, baby's coming. <laughs> On the mom where she's gone. <laughs> You're gonna sleep with Aurora tonight. It's yes. the middle of the night, right? Well, it's, it's like, like 10 or 11. Like, I don't know. She doesn't have time to be taking the time. No. It's 10 I'm gonna have another contraction in a minute and not be able to walk. So, Daddy, I'll walk while you're gone. Love you guys. Hey. You go on your way. I am. My water broke. So, and I'm having like the worst contractions. It's so bad. Oh. oh. I just want to be there so bad. I know, I wish you could be. It makes me so sad, like I could cry. Aww. Two contractions, like really strong. And then I went to the bathroom and I'm like, I can't tell if I'm peeing or my water broke, but it's a lot. And then I had blood and then I got up and I leaked more and I'm like, oh, that's definitely my water. <laughs> Your water's broke. Yeah. Uh, did you tell the intended parents? Yeah, they're on their way. Oh wait, hold on. Are you having one? So we have a 45 minute drive to the hospital. My contractions are about five minutes apart and they are so bad. Um, the intended parents have two and a half, three hour drive. And I'm so worried that they're not gonna be able to make it to the birth because five minutes apart is like really fast. Probably not a lot of time. Yeah. Do we need to call the hospital? No, I think we just go, right? Well, I'm saying they might want to have an anesthesiologist available to do the epidural right when you get there. Okay, I'm gonna call the hospital so they're like ready for us. Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna be right behind you guys. I'll be right behind you, babe. Yep. All right, you guys, I'm in the car. Crystal is now loaded in an ambulance. We didn't quite make it. Her contractions got to about two minutes apart or less. We ended up calling the hospital. They transferred us to 911. 911 transferred us to EMS. They're tracking her contractions. She's now in the ambulance and we're on our way, so. went to five minutes to two minutes to like like a minute and a half two minutes apart I thought we were gonna have to deliver in the car I was freaking out we ended up calling 911 the ambulance like met us part way because we still had 30 more minutes to the hospital but the ambulance ended up meeting us and I rode the rest of the way, rest of the way in the ambulance just in case I delivered and and then my contractions were really strong really close together I was so worried and then we just got to the hospital and they checked still three centimeters <laughs> it makes no sense i had a doctor's appointment earlier today and i was three centimeters so i don't know what's going on but my water has broken so baby is coming no matter what but i was so scary i was like those are the horror stories when people have to deliver in cars and i thought that was going to be me today but thank goodness that it's not and hopefully the intended parents will make it here before the baby comes, so. They said they're about an hour and 50 minutes out right now, so. And my contractions are like, now they're down to three minutes apart. They did say but. she can't get an epidural for a little while until her cervix thins and dilates yeah. more. Yeah, I can't even get an epidural. So, <laughs> so she's having these horrible contractions. They're horrible, and I don't know why my cervix isn't dilating. <laughs> 
All right, so this is the labor dilation chart. So right now she's at three centimeters. She has to make it all the way up to 10 centimeters. share this but I decided now is the best time so I have decided to be a surrogate again intended parents is the name that they use um, for the people that are looking to have a baby got a new profile and and it was everything I was looking for and then some so I said yes they said yes and we did a Skype call and I got off the call and I just wanted to jump up and down and scream and yeah you know just be so excited and I'm like that's the feeling I'm supposed to have that's the person that I want to carry their baby for and so I'm so excited about that the kids every single one of my kids mean the absolute world to me so I can't imagine my life without any of them so to be able to give that gift of life and a family to somebody who really really wants it I'm just so so excited for this journey. I put the inner catheter that's going to slide right through the catheter that you see there, Bob and Bell, and then heading towards like 9:30, 10. you guys can tell but it says positive it's a really light line because it's still really early but it's a positive oh! okay I'm gonna go show the kids guess You're what right. guys how did you know I didn't even say it yet because I heard you from the other room oh you smart you do know everything it's positive <laughs> the intended parents they have no idea yes. Yes. you ready yes. all right let's call them hi good morning guess what we're pregnant oh my god that's so crazy all right guys so it's almost time for the ultrasound the intended parents are coming in in just a few minutes I saw them in the hallway they're so excited and they cannot wait to see their baby or babies. Or babies. <laughs> Baby. it's two. I think it's twins. It's just one. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm doing the recording today, so we'll see. Oh, okay. Here's where it's gonna Let's be. Do it. I can't wait. So, I'm having a miscarriage, and there was no a heartbeat. I felt so bad for the intended parents. We're gonna try again for this couple, and the answer is yes, we are. They are the most amazing couple, and I really hope that this next one works out and then that at the end of this they get to hold their sweet baby. I am having a transfer done today. Yeah, it's I like, can't believe it. In like an hour and a half, two hours. Today I could be is pregnant. the day. I'm all signed in and now I'm just waiting and the intended parents are on their way so I'm so excited to see them. All right, we're all finished with the transfer. I'm like praying and in like the surrogacy world, they say send me sticky thoughts that the embryo will stick to the uterus and will grow into a beautiful baby. So I took a pregnancy test and I went and got my blood drawn and the results just came in and drum roll. 
I'm pregnant, yay. My message to the parents of the baby. Before we began, you were called the intended parents and I was a gestational surrogate. When we first met, you expressed how I wasn't even an original part of your family plan. But then you said how your hopes and dreams had to change and evolve so much to lead you to this point. I felt in that moment how incredibly courageous people you are and I admire your strength and resolve. You have put so much trust in me and I know it hasn't always been easy. I know that the worry sometimes has crept in. Am I eating right, sleeping enough, being active but not too active? But I want to say a huge thank you for always communicating and expressing your feelings. I have not taken your trust lightly and have always treated the pregnancy as I would my own. That's it. Bring him down. Bring him down. Good, 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 yeah. I'm gonna put a diaper on him and then I'll give him to you. Into your waiting arms, waiting arms. This has been such a crazy experience, and I'm so thankful that everything went smooth as it did or as possible. Um, I just got moved to a recovery room. They put the baby and the mom in the room next to us so we can see each other and go back and forth. So the hospital was so incredibly nice letting the mom in the room and also my husband Aaron. But now they said that the mom can go down to the parking lot and switch places so that the dad can come up and meet his baby for the first time. So super excited and I cannot wait for him to meet his baby. He looks bad this morning and he shouldn't be in the vlog. But I told him, you can't, this is real life, people. <laughs> we don't always look perfect. I was able to shower this morning and feeling so good. Um, the baby slept so good last night. I went in and spent some time with the baby this morning. <sighs> so yesterday, the intended parents brought me in a gift and it is the sweetest thing. So it's in this cute bag. And so one of those like cool robes that go like across here or towels when you get out of the shower. Love the shower wrap. That's what they're called. And then it's gonna be weird if I take that robe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute this is. So it says, I make families, what's your superpower? <laughs> I was like, oh, this is so cute. That is and then problem. inside the cup they have this cute thing. It's from Kate Spade and look how cute this is. So it's a gold bracelet and they got it um, engraved on the inside and it says heart of gold. Oh. <sighs> when I opened this, I like literally almost started crying. I'm so, that's just so sweet. I just thought Adorable. that was like the sweetest gift ever. And then they also got this little bag with a C on it. And it's a really cute bag. It's really nice. They didn't have to do this, but literally they put a bunch of money inside. I thought that was so nice. Really nice they didn't them. have to do that, but very nice. And then they also got like mother's milk, which I guess helps with the milk supply because I am going to be pumping milk for them for the next few weeks. So I thought that was so nice, but this is like so sweet and like thought out. And I love like when gifts are like really thought through and i really appreciate it so thank you to thank the intended parents or the parents now you don't call them intended parents after like the baby's born they're actually that's the, true the parents so they are now parents so sweet thank now, you a uh, couple of things they were parents before yes they had a they have a daughter child, so yep I, I saw some questions yesterday on that Oh, is there a question? We should do a Q and A. Or if you have any questions on surrogacy or just like more details, because 
obviously the last few days have been really crazy. Um, comment then down below and we'll do a QA and a video on that. So I'm feeling really, really good this morning. I was able to get up, take a shower. Like I'm doing really, really well. Lucky. So, I didn't get so to thankful. Shower. That's on you. You gotta make the time. You told me to be here early and so I <laughs> So Aaron out. actually left the hospital last night and went home and slept in our bed, saw Aurora and the kids and um, spent some time with them and then came back this morning. So he's a trooper and the best husband ever. Aww. And I just got lipstick on you. <laughs> <laughs> The doctor just came in and said that we are able to go home, so we're gonna get everything packed together, go say goodbye to the baby and the parents, and then head home.